I'm using an old Raspberry Pi computer and some stepper drivers to test some stepper motors and I'm just driving that using a uh, Python script that's running on the Raspberry Pi computer. This flat style of stepper motor, they tend to be pretty cheap and low performance and they only have 48 steps per revolution. So these are the step sizes, so that's pretty coarse but they're usually geared down quite a lot so it doesn't matter as much. Better quality stepper motors tend to be uh, more like this, roughly uh, cube shaped with uh, layers of lamination right here and these typically have around 200 steps per revolution. Here's another uh, better stepper motor. Um, but those steps can still be fairly coarse for some applications. At higher speeds this coarseness doesn't really matter that much but at lower speeds it can get a little bit noisier than it needs to be. But some of these can also do micro-stepping. Here it shows what it can do here. And there's info on here too. Better just look at the specification. So this one can do whole half, one eighth, and one sixteenth stepping. Stepper motors can also go in between steps. And to illustrate this, I've got uh, an imaginary stepper motor that only has four steps per revolution. And it's got uh, a set of coils that's on those two poles and one on those two poles. So if we excite these coils to make this south and this north, that turns the rotor this way. And then to do a step, we now excite the other coils instead. So now south is here, and then the motor goes this way. And then the next step, we excite the other coils again, and it goes this way. Now, to go halfway in between, we can excite both coils and then north is drawn to both of these poles and it goes part way in between and we can go finer steps by for instance making these ones only a little bit excited so that the uh, rotor is mostly drawn to these poles so it'll be closer to this than this or to make these ones stronger and these ones weaker and it'll go this way. So now I'm going to configure this motor for 1 16th micro stepping by flipping the appropriate dip switch on this board and now driving this motor you can see it's taking very small steps but it seems to be a little bit inconsistent in terms of how big these steps are let's drive it a bit faster the uh, motion is uh, decidedly a little bit jerky on it it's smooth but a bit jerky so that may have something to do with the motor but uh, I've also been graphing the uh, current curves as a function of micro steps and these ones are hardly sinusoidal. So I switched to uh, this stepper driver and this one's configured for a little bit higher current which for hole stepping makes the motor quite a bit more jerky. So let's switch this one to half stepping and that means I need to set the dip switches to on, off, on. So looking in here, that means I need to go on, off, and on. And now it's going at half steps and that's already a lot smoother. And now at uh, quarter stepping, but we still see the steps don't all seem to be the same size. And now configured for 1 8 stepping, the uh, non-smooth motion is much more apparent. And now configured for 1 32nd of a step micro stepping and stepping at a higher rate, it's quite clear that this is a bit jerky. But that's actually a function of the stepper motor. These motors don't necessarily respond the same way when they're between a half and a full step. These uh, bigger stepper motors, the fancier ones, like this one or like this one, tend to respond a bit more smoothly to fractional steps. So now driving this motor with exactly the same thing I was driving this one with, it turns more slowly because this one has about four times as many steps per revolution, but we don't see the same level of jerkiness to the motion coming out of this one. So ideally I'd be able to configure some of the uh, curves for the sub-steps for these motors because this one is clearly different from this one in this regard. Now let's run that a little bit faster and that'll become much smoother.
There, that's a very smooth motion. And just to illustrate, now stepping at that same speed with whole steps, it's much rougher and much noisier. In fact, I think uh, this driver overall seems to drive the motors much noisier. This one is better in some ways, these ones are better in other ways. Now let's drive it fast. And at that speed, it's quite noisy with this driver. So now roughly at the same speed using quarter steps. And going a bit faster. Investigating some of this jerkiness of the motion, I graphed the uh, current as a function of microstep on the TB6560s. And you can see there's a big steep part where it goes across the zero. Whereas the, uh, the ones in the black case, the TB6600, they're uh, not entirely a sine wave, but uh, a much closer approximation to that. And that works much better with my stepper motors. But I suspect this jump may be intentional to match some other types of stepper motors. I don't know. But the cool thing is, I can uh, drive these straight off of an old Raspberry Pi. This is uh, one of the older ones, not one of the uh, quad-core ones. And even though the Pi only drives 3.3 volts and these are expecting 5 volts, both these ones and these one will respond just fine with 3 volt signal. And then I have them hooked up to a benchtop power supply for the uh, power current and hooked up straight to the stepper motor. And I'm just using a Python script for now to pulse the signals and that works surprisingly well. So it's fun to experiment with.